Hello all, welcome back to Pabli Connect. So in this video, we are going to understand how to automatically send wedding invitations via WhatsApp. So do you also wish to send wedding invitations to all your guests in just few minutes? Then this video is definitely for you. So with that, I want the same. So I manage the wedding planning services for my clients and sending invitations manually is such a tedious task. So to automate this process, what I want is that as soon as the guest details are added in my Google Sheets and automated WhatsApp message should be sent to all my guests related to the wedding invitation. So to do this, we are going to create a connection between Google Sheets and Vati. So over here, I'm going to use Vati to send WhatsApp messages. I'm going to create this connection with the help of an amazing automation software, which is Pabli Connect. So do you also wish to learn this process step by step? Then let me take you to my computer screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know, in this video, we are going to understand how to automatically send wedding invitations via WhatsApp. So I manage a wedding planning service and coordinating invitations for multiple clients can be overwhelming. So to simplify this process, I want to set up this automation, which allows me to send wedding invitations via WhatsApp. So now whenever a client finalizes their guest list, I can automatically send them beautifully crafted invitations to all their guests at once. This ensures that everyone receives the invitation promptly, increase engagement and saves me a significant time in managing communications, allowing me to focus more on creating memorable wedding experience for my clients. So to do all of this, I have simply opened the landing page of Pabli by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as we're going to open the landing page of Pabli, we are going to get two options. One is sign in and the other one is sign up for free. So if you're a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you're going to get 100 of tasks free every month but i'm an existing user so i'm going to click on sign in right over here and as soon as we are going to click on sign in it is opening all pabli apps where you can see all the tools and applications offered by pabli but in today's video we are going to use pabli connect because we are connecting different applications so i'm going to click on access now right over here to access my pabli connects account and as soon as we are going to click on access now it is opening my dashboard and to start with this automation we are going to click on this button which is create workflow and now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So in here I have created multiple folders on my dashboard in which I can save my workflows in. So if you wish to learn how to create a new folder or a subfolder you can click on this hyperlink given right over here which says learn more. So in here I want to save this workflow in this folder which is automations and I want to name my workflow as how to automatically send wedding invitations via whatsapp and then we are going to click on create and as soon as we are going to click on create it is opening the most important window of our automation which is our workflow window so this is the most important window because we have trigger an action in this trigger means when this happens an action means do this so by this you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands and as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers so over here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger so by this finally you can understand that the trigger commands is the workflow and the actions are the response towards that same command and in order to start with this automation we have to select our trigger application so for my trigger application i'm going to select google sheets so i'm going to search for google sheets right over here and as you can google sheets so we are going to select it and now after selecting our trigger application it is asking me for the trigger event so basically a trigger event is the event on which the workflow will start so i want that as soon as a new row is added or updated in my spreadsheet automatically my workflow should be triggered Good. So I'm going to select the same for my trigger event and as soon as we're going to select our trigger event it is giving me a webbook URL. So we're going to use this same webbook URL in order to create a connection between our Google Sheets account and our Pabli's workflow. So first we're going to copy this webbook URL and then we're going to follow this help text and it is saying login into a single Google Sheets account, create a new spreadsheet and navigate to extensions and then move on to add-ons option. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put my Google Sheets right from here and as you can see that this is my sheet I want to create this automation for so you have to open that sheet and after opening this sheet we have to go on extensions and then add-ons and then we are going to go on get add-ons to get an extension right over here for connecting our google sheets account with our pabli's workflow and over here in the search app section we are going to look for pabli connect webbooks so i'm going to search for pabli connect webbooks right over here and as you can see pabli connect webbooks so we are going to select this so as you can see that i've already installed this extension right over here that's why it is giving me the option of uninstall but if you haven't installed 
install this extension already you're going to get the option of install right over here and as soon as you're going to install this extension right from here you have to refresh this sheet so it is a really important step to refresh this sheet because what will happen is now as soon as i'm going to go on extension you can see public connect web books appear right over here and after opening this public connect web books we have to go on initial setup and as soon as we're going to go on initial setup yes you can see that now it is asking me to select the sheet web book url and the trigger column so for my sheet i selected guest right over here and now for the web book url we are going to paste the url which we copied from our workflow and now it is asking me for the trigger column so as you can see that it is saying the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row will be sent to the web book url so over here i want my trigger column to be e because i want that as soon as i add the details of my guest right over here till e column then the details should be sent to my web book url so i'm going to keep it as e and then we are going to click on submit right over here and as soon as we're going to do so yes you can see setup configured successfully so yes with this we have successfully created a connection between our google sheets account and our pabli's workflow but over here we are going to click on send test to test this web book url so as soon as i'm going to click on send test yes you can see test data sent successfully so now i'm going to open my workflow and check that if pabli has captured the response of the test data or not but before opening my workflow we have to go on extensions and then pabli connect web books and over here you can see the button of send on event so we have to switch on this button right from here so that as soon as a new event occurs in my spreadsheet in my google sheets then automatically the details would be sent to my web book url which is my pabli's workflow so as you can see that we have successfully switched on this button so it is really important to switch on this button otherwise your workflow will not run in real time so now after switching on this button we are going to move on towards our workflow and check that if pabli has captured the response and yes you can see that pabli has captured the response you can see the same details you can see the trigger column you can see the spreadsheet name over here you can see the sheet name too over here you can see the phone number of our guest you can see the first name last name email and the dietary preferences of our guest so yes with this we have successfully captured the response from our google sheets and we have successfully completed our trigger step and now what will happen is that as soon as we add a new row right over here in my google sheets with the new guest details automatically the details would be sent to my workflow and my workflow would be triggered so with this we have successfully completed the trigger step and now we are going to move on towards our action step so for my action application i am going to select it as vati so vati is a application which we use to send whatsapp messages if you want you can use any another application like asmc and if you wish you can also use whatsapp cloud api too so over here i am going to use vati so i am going to select vati right over here and now for the action event we are going to select it as send template message and then we are going to click on connect and as soon as we are going to click on connect it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection so if you have already connected your vati account with your pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the api endpoint and the access token so to get both of this we are going to follow the help text and it is saying navigate to the top on your vati dashboard click on the hamburger icon and then click on the api docs to find your api endpoint and same goes for access token too so i am going to open my vati dashboard right from here so as you can see that this is my vati dashboard and over here you can see api docs so we have to go on this api docs and as soon as we're going to open this you can see the access token and the api endpoint so we're going to copy both of this right from here and then we're going to paste it right over here in our workflow so i'm going to paste the api endpoint and same we are going to do for the access token too we are going to paste it right over here and after pasting both of these details i'm going to click on save and as soon as we are going to click on save yes you can see that we have successfully connected our vati account with our pabli's workflow and now it is asking me for the whatsapp number so over here i'm going to enter the whatsapp number of my guest so over here i'm not going to enter the whatsapp number manually but we are going to map this so you must be wondering what is mapping so mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected google sheets as our trigger application so we're going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only and as soon as we're going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received so over here i'm going to give you an example that over here it is asking me for the whatsapp number right so let's suppose that i'm going to enter a whatsapp number right over here manually by typing it like this then this will not change with every new response received because this is a static information and i've entered it manually but if you're going to map this from the previous response over here you can see the phone number of my guest so let's suppose that we're going to map this from the previous response then this will definitely change because my previous response will also change so that's why we do mapping right over here to run our workflow in real time and now it is asking me for 
for the template. So to let you know this, what does this template mean? I'm going to put my Vati account. So as you can see that this is my Vati's dashboard and over here you can see all the templates which I've previously created. So I'm going to use one from this only. So if you wish to create a new template, you can click on this button which is new template message and over here you can give your template a name, category, language, you can enter the body, you can add variables and create a new template. But I've already created a template which is wedding invitation template. So I'm going to use this only in order to send a WhatsApp message. So I'm going to select this same as my template right over here which is wedding invitation template. So now after selecting my template it is asking me for the broadcast name. So over here it is saying provide a broadcast name. So I want to name my broadcast as wedding invitation. So I'm going to enter it right over here. And now after entering the broadcast name I'm going to move on forward. It is saying custom parameters. So you must be wondering what is this custom parameters for that I'm going to show you my template again and over here you can see that this is my template right so over here you can see the pdf which I've attached which is the wedding card or the wedding invitation and over here you can see the message which says hi name we are thrilled to invite you to the wedding of Teddy and Emily this is the date the time the venue please find the invitation card attached for more details we can't wait to celebrate this special day with you best regards dummy user so yes you can see that this is the full message but you must notice that there's name in curly brackets and you must be wondering why because I want this name to be dynamic right over here that's why I've kept this name as a variable you can see that on the right hand side is the message which my guest will receive and this name is replaced with demo user which is the name of my guest right over here so i want that each time we send a new whatsapp message this name should be replaced with the name of my guest suppose that for the first it is demo user for the second it can be test user smart user admin user so i want to replace this name with the name of my guest every time we send a whatsapp message that's why i've kept this name as a variable and we're going to map the same right over here too and in order to map this custom parameter we are going to read the help text and it is saying provide parameters in comma separated objects which will be used in the template message so what we have to do is we have to copy this example right from here and then we are going to paste it right over here in our workflow under the custom parameters section so over here what it is saying it is saying name so it is asking me for the name of the custom parameter so over here the name of my custom parameter is name only so over here I'm going to erase this company and enter name right over here manually by typing it because this is a static information and now it is asking me for the value of the custom parameter parameter so over here for the value i want the name of my guest for that i'm going to look for name in my previous response and as you can see demo user so i'm going to map the first name put a space and then the last name so what has been done is the name of the custom parameter is name and the value of that same custom parameter is demo user so now after entering these details we are going to move on forward over here again just i'll let you know that in my template i had only a single custom parameter so if you have multiple custom parameters or variables in your templates you have to add all of these details right over here so now after entering my custom parameter i'm going to click on save and send test request but before clicking on save and send test request i'll just let you know that this is a dummy phone number so i'll just replace this dummy phone number with my original phone number so that i can show you the response and the message received so i'm just going to replace this number so now after replacing this number i'm going to click on save and send test request and as soon as we are going to click on save and send test request yes you can see that we have received a positive response that we have successfully sent an automated word a message to this number so what we are going to do is i'm going to open my whatsapp and check for the message received and yes you can see that we have received another message right over here which says hi demo user we are thrilled to invite you to our wedding of teddy and emily you can also see the wedding card attached so i'm going to open this card right from here we are going to open this and look is it the same card or not and yes you can see that this is the same card which we attach right over here in our template so yes with this we have successfully sent an automated whatsapp message with the same details only you can see the name has been changed so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow but what i wanted is that as you can see that over here we have numerous number of guests i want to send automated whatsapp message to, to all of them at once and in order to do this what we are going to do is we are going to go on extensions public connect webhooks and over here you can see send all data so as soon as we are going to click on send all data right over here for all the data in our spreadsheet a whatsapp message would be sent with the customized name so let's suppose that i'm going to click on send 
send all data right over here like this and as soon as we're going to click on send all data it is saying working so now what will happen is that google sheet will send the details of all of these to my workflow probably will capture the response trigger the workflow and further send an automated whatsapp message to each one personally so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my whatsapp and check that if we are receiving the whatsapp messages with the new names or not so i'm going to open my whatsapp right from here and yes you can see that we are continuously receiving whatsapp messages with the new names you can see the new names which we entered in our spreadsheet as you can see that i have received numerous messages right over here you can see only the name is changing which is the smart user right over here test user right over here demo demo right over here you can see guest 16 user over here you can see only the name is changing rest the message is same and also the card is also same so yes with this we have successfully sent a whatsapp message to all of the guests in our spreadsheet and not only the guests we have right now in our spreadsheet but if i'm going to add a new guest right over here then the whatsapp message would be sent to that guest too so let's suppose that i'm going to add another guest right over here for the first name i'm going to keep it as test and then for the last name i'm going to keep it as guest so i'm going to enter it this and now for the email i'm going to keep it as one two three other eight probably dudes.com we are going to enter the phone number right over here let's suppose that we are going to enter a dummy phone number and then for the dietary preferences i'm going to keep it as no preferences only and as soon as we are going to add another guest details right over here an automated whatsapp message would be sent to this guest also so i'm going to open my whatsapp and yes you can see hi test guest so yes this was the guest we entered just now in our spreadsheet so this is successful because i have switched on this button too which is sent on event so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow and we have successfully sent an automated whatsapp message to all our guests and we also tested this workflow by adding another guest right over here and as you can see the whatsapp message has been sent to that guest too so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow but i'll just summarize this workflow for you once so for the trigger application we selected google sheets for the trigger event we selected new or updated spreadsheet row for the action application we selected varti and then for the action event we selected send template message because i wanted to send an automated whatsapp message to all the guests which i have in my guest list and yes we were successful with our workflow too over here you can see the messages we sent to all our guests one by one using this same spreadsheet over here you can see only the guest name is changing whereas the message is same so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow and this automation ensures that everyone receives the invitation promptly increasing engagement and saves me a significant time in managing communications allows me to focus more on creating memorable wedding experience for my clients so yes this was it for the video and if you have any questions related to the workflow or the video you can directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just clone this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but with the help of pabli you can integrate many more applications so now if you have any doubts you can reach us at support at the read pabli dot com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum dot pabli dot com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching